Okay, question four. So they give us this matrix B, and they say we need to calculate the determinant of it is minus two. Okay, so let's just do that. It'll be a Rolf Gauss reduction. That's the way I like to do it. So the first column, one, one, minus two, one. One, one, minus two, one. Next column, three, five, minus seven, six. Three, five, minus seven, six. Then zero, two, zero, three. Zero two zero three and two zero two zero minus one minus two two zero minus one minus two. Let's just check that. One three top row one three zero two one three zero two then one five two zero one five two zero then minus two minus seven zero minus one minus two minus seven zero minus one and then one six three minus two one six three minus two. Yes. This question is okay. So we've got to calculate this determinant. So determinant of this. Okay. So. We'll use the uh, gas reduction. So we'll first off start off with maybe with row one minus oh no sorry. Row two minus row one. Row three plus two times row one and row four minus row one. None of these those things are gonna change the determinant. So we just equals top row is the same. Second row now has become zero, two, two minus 2. The next row is 0. Minus 7 plus 6 is minus 1. And then 0 there. And then minus 1 plus 4 is 3. And then here we have 0. Um, 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 is there as well. And minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. Okay, so that means the determinant will be based just on the first Expanding down that first column, so it's going to be expanding that first column, and so you're going to have it's an, it's an even entry. It's an odd, it's an even entry, so it keeps the sign. Doesn't change. Don't change the sign. Okay. Now in terms of this bit, it's more gas reduction. Um, what could we do to get all zeros somewhere? Mm. Two and a three, they're not very nicely matched, are they? Well, we could... Oh, let's, let's, let's start off by pulling out a two from that top row. Oh, okay, so... This is going to give us two times, and then we have one, one, minus one, minus one, zero, three, 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 minus four. Okay. Now let's do, let's do, I think the best thing to do is to do row th three minus three times row one, or at least that's the thing that works. We'll make it simpler. I'll make that thing zero. So we're getting this two, we keep that two, and this other next operation we're doing doesn't change the determinant. So you minus three and you get zero, zero, minus four plus three, it's minus one, and then we have one, one minus one, and then we have minus one, zero, three still. Okay, so now we could expand down the, the middle column, or expand on the last row, either one. Let's do the middle column. That's an odd entry, so we need to swap the sign. Minus two, it's still one though. And then we have determinant of minus one, zero, three, minus one. Okay, but that's the upper triangle of that matrix, so the determinant is just diagonal multiple of themselves, so minus one is minus one, which is one, so you just get minus two, which is what we wanted to get, right? Yes, cool, okay. Now, 4.2 says calculate the determinants of the following matrices. Explain how you arrive at your answer. So these, these things must be related in some way to B. So this C it looks like maybe we've times row two by two. Okay, but then the column that that counts for most of it, I think, but the fourth column is 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 is, is more different than that. It's got a it, instead of having what we'd expect then, which would be t two zero minus two minus two. It's now oh, it's everything times by three. So times column three by three. Time column times column four by three, and that means you're going to times the term by two and three. Okay, so let's put that down. Uh, well, this is matrix was called. Oh, this was C, and the original one was B. Okay. 
So 4.2.1, so the determinant of D equals, what is it? It's 2, it's 2 times 3 times, uh, what's the original thing was minus 2. Why? Because it's, oh, let me rather put them in different order. We put them in order. 3 times 2 times the original determinant of minus 2. Because we started with the original determinant. No. Do you know what? I want to put them in this order. No. I, yeah. Determinant was minus 2. Then we, we times row 2 by 2. So that's a determinant of B. Times row 2 by 2 to get. And then times row column 4 by 3. That gives us D. Okay. So that equals, uh, what? Uh, minus 12. Okay. Now 4.2.2. What's this now? We have, we've still got one, one. Oh, we swapped two rows maybe? We've got a minus two and minus one. Maybe we've swapped row two and row three. Minus two, minus seven, zero, one, yes. Uh, one, three, zero, two, yes. One, six, Oh, we've also swapped, oh, we've done two swaps. So we swapped, ah, this is always hard to think about. So if we swap row two and row three here, at this point, we're gonna get one, three, zero, two, minus two, minus seven, zero, minus one, one, five, two, zero, one, six, three, minus two, and then we do another swap. We swap row three and row four, and we get, one five zero two one six three minus two. Yeah, we get. Oops. Swap row three and row four. Then we get d, and so the term won't change because it goes minus times it by times by minus one twice over. Okay. Oh, this wasn't d here. That was one. That one was called c, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. So d is equal to minus one times minus one times the original determinant which is minus 2, which is, so the whole thing is minus 2, because you had the original determinant of B, and then you swapped rows 2 and 3, and then 3 and 4. Swap rows 2 and 3, and then you swap rows 3 and 4. Whoops. You swapped rows 3 and 4. Okay.